What is up ladies and gentlemen, this is Boogie once again bringing guys another video and like always when a new daisy standalone update releases I'm doing a daisy standalone updated video uh, in which I'm telling you which things are new and which things are fixed in daisy standalone So like always uh, I'm going to start off with the things that are going to be fixed But I get a quick warning for you uh, get yourself a comfortable seat because this is quite of a long episode So uh, let's start with the episodes the first thing that's fixed is that the berry uh, picking script messages to the player have been improved so apparently yeah how can you improve uh, berry picking script messages but apparently they did it another thing that's fixed is is that there is now a fixed force drink message uh, for when you were force feeding the water bottle. There are some modifications for the eat all rice animation. So when you click, when you now click on your rice package and you click the eat all button, that animation has been modified. Also, the force feeding action now depletes the right amount of food and drinks. Water bottles uh, stay in your hands after force feeding. Uh, uh, after force drinking, I mean that was kind of annoying because when you were in a good mood and you wanted to give your fellow teammate a bit of your drink and you gave it with the water bottle it it magically appeared in your inventory after you after you force feed them so yeah that's fixed now also eating cereals won't leave you with a zero uh, with a zero percentage box in your inventory anymore also uh, they removed uh, the force feed action for disinfectants and alcohol this was kind of an but uh, amongst all the bandits and Daisy, they would feed the innocent players of Daisy some alcohol or some disinfectant, and the innocent players uh, would become sick, and all the bandits would be laughing. So that's fixed now. Also, uh, this one I actually encountered myself uh, while I was making a Daisy guide. Uh, when you had uh, ruined bandages and wooden sticks, uh, they would uh, produce an infinity amount of splints. So. That's fixed now. In the latest updates, clicking on the eat all button, uh, when the quantity of the food is below one fourth of its quantity, this will result in a shorter animation than when the food was uh, in full quantity. Also, uh, when you force feed someone, uh, it doesn't use the uh, wall quantity of your food. And the canteen is also not destroyed after this action. Uh, there is a new player message uh, for drinking from a well. And uh, let's get over to the animations. Uh, the first animation that's fixed is that there are now some uh, g the glitches with the bandage and eating pills animation have been fixed. Also, uh, there are some... Uh, fixes for the animations while holding various weapon magazines. There are also some new M4A1 reload animations now and when you are laying on the ground and you roll to your, uh, to your left or your right, this will now actually uh, make the camera zoom out a bit uh, for the duration of the roll. The evade animations in prone, uh, the Q and E button are also faster now and something I don't quite understand is that there, that there is a audio fix, I will literally quote, uh, subsonic projectiles no longer emit supersonic crack. I don't even know what supersonic crack is, so yeah, you have to figure it out yourself. They also uh, did balance the uh, damage of your bullets. For example, the 9mm round has been nerfed, also the, uh, pal uh, the shotgun pallets have been uh, buffed, so yeah, uh, balancing, uh, balancing your game is always good. There are, uh, at the gear side, uh, they have added color variants of ballistic helmets now, and the purification tablets package now contains 10 tablets, so and that's nice. Also, there is no reason for not painting your SKS rifle anymore, because you can now chamber it while it's painted. And they even uh, lowered the chance of backpack spawning on construction sites uh, even more. And they changed uh, the inventory view of a pitch of a pitchfork. And uh, the next thing, they removed the quantity value for from a burlap sack. Yeah, it was kind of weird why there was a why there was a uh, quantity value of a burlap sack. And at the graphic side, uh, the SSAO is now saved in options and some various fixes with the rain. Uh, the settings has been have been changed. The geometry has been optimized and. 
and some uh, various uh, graphic fixes like a fix of terrain intersections and a, fig and a fix of geometry trace for flares. Another fix for terrain is that it, uh, in this update it doesn't fall inside buildings anymore and uh, at the map side uh, the city's fat low is quite fixed because there were some optimizations uh, for the performance and also some optimizations and some bug fixes for the forest uh, surrounding uh, fat low. <laughs> And at the medical side, uh, previously players couldn't die from having zero health or blood due to medical conditions, but uh, it's, it's fixed now. And the AP pen will now wake anyone from unconsciousness, even if their blood is low. Uh, the defibrillator uh, can now be used for restarting the heart of players who have a heart attack. And uh, the melee damage application system has been changed to better balance, so the melee damage uh, system has been uh, balanced. And also the chance of bleeding from fist is reduced significantly, so it's made more realistic. And falling from height while sprinting uh, did not kill the player when it should have, I actually never encountered this bug, but uh, never mind. It's fixed, so it's good, and also uh, when you have broken legs, you can't fault anymore. And the most important fix, at least in my opinion, is that items now drop uh, instantly after uh, dropping them. So before there was a delay, but now it's instant. Yeah, but the only thing that would be better was a uh, trade system, but that's maybe an idea for the next update. And there are also some fixes for the uh, network message. Uh, system uh, which will result in reduced bandwidth and some increases in FPS and at the and at the zombie side the zombies now aim mostly for the chest area and yeah it's a bit more realistic so now let's get over to the most important and interesting stuff the things that are new to DayZ the first thing that new that's new is that vomiting now has asso associated sound effects very important the ballistic helm variants uh, can also now be painted in the black and the green color uh, you can now check the pulse on in unconscious players and searching for for berries, will now add the berries to your inventory instead of uh, eating them instantly. Uh, the eat all button is now support for all consumables, and you can catch rain into a canteen. Yeah, this is pretty improvised because I can imagine uh, players uh, just running around with their, ca with their canteen in order to find to catch uh, some rain. <laughs> I'm really looking forward to try that out. Also, players can now sit with their gun and for the melee fight among us there has there have been added to uh, two-handed uh, melee animations so basically some new right-handed poses some new moves uh, and attacks for uh, almost all melee weapons uh, so yeah uh, some new uh, some new moves always good and there has been added a SKS painting recipe and one for the blaze 95 so apparently uh, for the SKS and the blaze you need to have a recipe in order to paint it. Also you can now paint the firefighter X uh, black and green. Uh, there, are, there are some new rock textures and at the food side there has been a Sam Pocus berry and a Canina berry added. They added black and UN ballistic helmet variants. There has been a sickle added into the loot spawn so I can imagine all the farmers running around with their sickles and I don't know why you should ever do this but you can now use your can opener as melee weapon and a box uh, and a box of 10 bucks uh, shotgun ammo has been added to the loot spawns and at the gear side a wool coat has been added in the game and there are also now some green and black variants of the SKS rifle and also some green and black variants of the firefighter X a flat gap has been added in different colors and uh, and uh, at the gear side, uh, there has been added a rabbit leg, a bear steak, and some chicken breasts. Uh, so yeah, if this doesn't point at hunting in one of the future uh, updates, I don't know. Uh, some new food. Uh, there are also some uh, fresh uh, tomatoes, some uh, green bell peppers, uh, some canned peaches, and tactical bacon. Yeah, tactical bacon. Imagine that. Uh, that will now be spawning on the days. 
PC servers. Also in the latest updates, hard headgear like some ballistic helmets, moto helmets cannot be wear uh, cannot be wear together with masks. Uh, you could previously, but this would result in a strange view. And a uh, very important thing also is that there are no are some new guns into the game. Always exciting. You in the latest update you will have these Porter 22, the CR 75, and the Amphibilia S, and the last but not least the 1911 weapon and their respective magazine ammos. In the loot spawns they are almost all as uh, just some handguns, but yeah, in the future I will be doing uh, some reviews about them. So yeah, one other reason to subscribe to my channel and. Uh, farming Ho uh, has now been added to the spawn, so another melee weapon. A long wooden ash stick has been added, and there are also some green variants of the M4 attachments added. Then there are also some new things at the graphic side. There has been added some new lights to the scene. Also, uh, lighting from object is now rendered to, uh, during daytime also. And the HDR is improved and tweaked uh, slightly. Slightly. The engine now supports uh, light objects like uh, the gas lamps and that the map side again, uh, the city Ulsa has been updated, uh, same goes for the city Calum and there are some new rock formations out of, uh, out of Svetlo and also a new orthodox uh, chapel has been created and some new police stations and medical so um, some medical centers uh, now have been spawned across the map. A Village uh, pub can always spawn loot, so yeah, some uh, different places to find loot, always good. And there are some new villages uh, surrounding Svetlo, and the, uh, there is actually a new town, the Chernaya Polona, uh, Polona town, and surroundings has been added. And of course, also some signs to the city have been added. And another important thing that players can now have heart attacks, and at the weather side, the rain cloud and and uh, winds are now calculated on the server and are directly distributed to the clients. And rain uh, now causes players uh, and items to become wet. And when items come uh, become wet, uh, they could simply not work anymore. And that's actually it for this episode. Yeah, it was uh, pretty long, but I really hope you enjoyed it. Please leave a like down below and don't forget to subscribe. This was Pookie. Bye.